This project is sponsored by PCBWay. Hey guys, uh, this is Sam here from the Toronto Poster Shop, and we are finally back. And I've got some new project for you to share that I'm very excited about. As you can see, um, I'm in my new house. The garage isn't ready yet, so for now, I'm taking over my girlfriend's <laughs> witch room. And so, what's today's project? Well. It's the new Prometheus machine, uh, basically the next generation. Uh, for those who don't know what the Prometheus project is, uh, this is basically the first fully open source resin MSLA 3D printer. And we are sharing all the design file for the whole machine, uh, the software, the OS, uh, basically everything. We decided to redo the entire design uh, because honestly, uh, there was too much uh, stuff to fix. The old bad LCD that I fought uh, with for more than a year is now gone. Um, and I'm changing the UV source too, which means I will need it to redesign the whole entire, entire metal plate and probably the VAT too. This will be actually a video series, like a log type where I show you the whole build process and the design decision behind it. And along the way, I want your input. Uh, if you have, if you got some ideas, uh, suggestion, throw them in. Uh, and at the same time, I will try to upload the CAD files on GitHub with each episode so you can mess around with them too, if you're into that sort of thing. Um, I will be using free CAD this time. Uh, mainly because it's easier to share with you guys and honestly um, it gotten a lot better I'm still not a pro <laughs> but so be gentle and today's episode uh, is all about building uh, the frame so let not waste any time and just get into it I have pretty much all my extrusions ready for uh, for the frame here. Um, I spent about an hour or two to uh, to drill drill out the um, the holes for the blind joints, and also taps not the one but taps the the end that will require a a screw there. So so I'm looking at the cab right now and I don't have a really a plan to do to do this in, in steps um, I think what will be best is to start uh, like with the, the middle part of the, the frame where the um, like the linear rail will be because the, the extrusion bar is quite large and I need to put like two uh, 2040 extrusion on on each side and I don't have a really good plan on how to attach them I think um, I will have basically I will have the the extrusion something like this I think it will be strong enough because the rail will go uh, will go on this one and like the forces will be on on the bigger the thickest part of the extrusion so i think it will be fine but it's just like the the way to attach them to this one uh, i will try um to put t nuts i think i think it will be fine so here on those extrusions i have like three holes um the two the two holes here close to the the, the edge will be to attach uh, those little ones with blind joints and the one the hole that is alone will be to attach to the bigger extrusion with say with a t nuts um yeah so i think i will we need to attach the little piece first then uh, we will figure it out. So for those who don't know what blind joints are, it's a way to connect together um, extrusion bars. 
very simply without uh, without needing to like buy a special special bracket special corner that are generally not that square <laughs> so uh, uh, it's a very common way to to do it and very effective so basically what you want to do is to uh, basically drill a hole uh, through your extrusion bar generally this hole is big enough to fit a uh, your allen key uh, through it then on the other uh, other extrusion bar you you tap the end of it and it's very import important to have a bottom head style um, screw Wh why it's important to have a uh, bottom head uh, cap screws is because it's almost the same shape as the uh, the cutout inside the extrusion bar and what you want to do is basically align align them together then you just basically screw screw uh, you screw through it you, you know you know the idea then and like that if your cut is square of your extrusion bar generally you will have a very square connection but it's still recommended like to tighten those screws at the end if you can uh, so everything is aligned properly and i'm explaining this because <laughs> uh, the in the first project of the prometheus um i didn't include like the the, the holes inside the, the cat design uh, because um i thought like it, it was a way that pretty much everyone knows but uh, some users uh, didn't understand uh, how to connect them together so this is why um, i'm explaining it the bill obviously start with the uh, extrusion bars uh, because they are cheap and very accessible they are strong and like legos uh, it's it's a breeze to uh, to to work with them I mentioned uh, earlier that I want a, a stronger and beefier frame, especially at the back of the machine. It doesn't seem like it, but while printing, the machine is under a lot of stresses uh, because of the suction force happening uh, at the bottom of the vat. We also saw in the past uh, that with cheaper ball screw, the wobbling was transferred to the printer arm if the assembly was not properly uh, constrained. As you can see here uh, in the front, uh, there's two black extrusion. So let me, I, I didn't order the, the right color, but it's also because I'm not sure yet how to do uh, the door. The same reason uh, why right now the frame look like this. Uh, I don't know if we go with the same design as the last Prometheus with like a single, a single door or with two doors, Maybe it will be cooler, um, like butterfly doors, I don't know, name it. Just let me know in the comments what do you think would be nice to have as a door to, for the, the new Prometheus. Um, so right now both sides are done. Um, now I need to connect um, this metal piece together. Mm. Yeah, so <laughs> I didn't realize I, I thought using um, M5 uh, bottom head screws, but they are too long. So maybe I will just All right, so I <laughs> I took the the grinder and cut my screws to size. So uh, we'll go with the original ideas by taking T nuts and screwing them into the other one.
So here is the plan uh, for the new machine. Um, it will run a 14 inch 16K LCD screen. Um, the UV source is different now. I found uh, this neat all in one LED unit online with optics and Fresno lens included. I tested it uh, in my last machine and it works super well, uh, even though I only showed it in a couple uh, Discord pictures. Uh, so the frame will be beefier and more rigid than the last one. And I will try to make a metal vat and I want it to be super affordable uh, with uh, optional vat heating. So that will be very nice. Uh, the new build, the new build plate will be easier to uh, for the leveling. I will have air assist for the FEP sheet, uh, better load cell integration in the arm because last design it was like a midway add-on, and a bunch of others uh, upgrades uh, for for the machine. So yeah. Lots to cover, and if you got uh, something you really want to see in the machine, again, just let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm very curious uh, about your ideas. I'm pretty sure there is another way to do this, a better way to do this. So if uh, anyone has any other idea, just let, let me know in the comments below. Um, back. Ta mec. Mm. All right, so I fixed the the holes again. So now it should fit. Now also uh, and I also cut to length the uh, the little extrusion bar on each side.
Hey guys, look what I've received from PCBWay. It's the middle plate and also the bill plate. I will talk about it in a, another video. But also, we have received this. First prototype of the Apollo V4. Can't wait to show you what it will be able to do. This project was sponsored by PCBWay one of my favorite online PCB manufacturers. I remember the time when I was making my own PCB with strong acid and stuff. Now, it's so easy to order and quickly have your prototype directly at your door. Simply upload your Gerber files to their online tools and choose your specification. They are also offering a ton of other services like 3D printing and CNC manufacturing. Click on the link below to know more. Thank you PCBWay. So that was it for the first video of the build. I hope uh, you are starting to be as excited as I am for this. Next video, um, I think we will start looking at the kinematic with the motors, uh, the rails and stuff. Uh, in the meantime, uh, like I said, I want your opinion uh, and your ideas and what you would like to see uh, in this build. Uh, don't forget to join our Discord like share and subscribe and i hope seeing you in the next one see you soon will do a transition <laughs>